23 ABC News at 5. It's dangerous for everybody and it's a traumatic experience that stays with children throughout their lifetime. A recent case of domestic violence illustrates why there is often more than just one victim in a home. And thanks for choosing 23 ABC News at 5. I'm Jackie Parks. And I'm Todd Carley. New details tonight on exactly what happened inside the home of Lucas Webby, the man accused of torturing his common law spouse for two days. According to the police report obtained by 23 ABC, the children of Webby's victim were in the home when the abuse was taking place. 23 ABC's Carlos Correa is live at KMC tonight with how this case illustrates what many other children often experience. Carlos. Jackie and Todd, Lucas Webby remains in police custody tonight, and he may still be here at the hospital after missing initial court appearances. Police reports show the argument between Lucas Webby and his common law spouse happened at home inside their bedroom. In the documents, Webby punched her several times in the face and ribs. He also kicked her and used a metal baseball bat repeatedly. And it all happened in front of the victim's three children, a nine-year-old and two five-year-old girls. I've seen a lot of children that have had post-traumatic stress disorder just because of seeing one of their parents beaten, abused, tortured. The victim was able to escape the bedroom. She grabbed her daughters and sat on the couch together. They were crying and screaming. That's when reports say Webby grabbed her hair and arms, pulling her away from the children and back into the bedroom. It's a form of child abuse on terms that they may be getting hit themselves. If it's what they're observing, it's emotional abuse. Police documents show the abuse happened before, as far back as Christmas. Counselors say this type of domestic abuse damages children for a lifetime. They may regress in their abilities. Uh, you might find out that they've been struggling with bedwetting, uh, night terrors, that they're afraid to leave for school. There are things going on in their lives that they are showing the other adults Something's not right in their world. Long-term effects may include having difficulties with relationships. Some children even become the aggressor and develop into abusers. Most important thing they need to know right away is that none of the violence is their fault. The kids have nothing to do with that. They just need to have a safe place to be. They need to know to dial 911 if they need help. They need to have a family member that they can call and go to. Now, to read this full report on this torture case, you can download our 23ABC mobile and tablet app. Reporting live at KMC, Carlos Correa, 23ABC.